Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 Page number 107 Dad and the cat and the tree Have you ever seen a cat climbing a tree Sometimes a cat may climb too high and get stuck in the tree The poor thing can't come down without help How would you help it Surely not like the dad in the poem. Is dad a good climber? What were his plans? Read the poem to find out. This morning a cat got stuck in our tree. Dad said, "Right just leave it to me." The tree was wobbly, the tree was tall. Mum said, "For goodness sake don't fall." Fall? Scoff dad. a climber like me child's play this is you wait and see he got out the ladder from the garden shed it slipped he landed in the flower bed page number 108 never mind said dad brushing the dirt off his hair and his face and his trousers and his shirt we'll try plan b stand out of the way mum said Don't fall again, okay? Fall again? said dad. Funny joke. Then he swung himself up on the branch. It broke. Dad landed wall up back on the deck. Mom said, "Stop it. You'll break your neck." Rubbish, said dad. Now we'll try plan C. Easy as winking to a climber like me. Then he climbed up high on the garden wall. Guess what? He didn't fall. He gave a great leap and he landed flat in the crook of the tree trunk right on the cat. The cat gave a yell and sprang to the ground, pleased as punch to be safe and sound. So it's smiling and smirking, smug as can be, but poor old dad's still stuck up the tree page number 110 glossary wobbly means unsteady for goodness sake means an exclamation expressing protest scoffed means laughed mockingly child's play means very easy to do landed well up means fell heavily pleased as punch means very pleased safe and sound means unhurt working with the poem question number 1 why was dad sure he wouldn't fall question number 2 which phrase in the poem expresses dad's self confidence best question number 3 describe plan a and its consequences Question number 4 Plan C was a success what went wrong then Question number 5 The cat was very happy to be on the ground pick out the phrase used to express this idea Question number 6 describe the cat and dad situation in the beginning and at the end of the poem Question number 7 why and when did dad say each of the following First fall question mark second never mind third funny joke fourth rubbish question number 8 do you find the poem humorous read aloud lines which make you laugh honeycomb you were just listening to this audiobook production assistance meenakshi kukreti and jagbandhu jana recorded by Batilang Lingdo Technical Assistance Soumya Malik Produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India